hi guys so in this video I'd like to show you how to utilize the nine panels function on your GNSS device now the nine panels function is a function that helps you create code names beforehand this will help ease the data capture process on the field when using the GNSS receivers it is particularly relevant when you intend to take points of different types like roads, drainages, or manholes. So now I'll create a new project and I'll call it the nine panels test. The next thing I need to do is go to my topo survey interface and set up my code lists. Notice how we always have the name and code input boxes on the page. These are the boxes where we need to edit our point identifiers. For large survey works requiring points of different types like roads or drainages or manholes, editing these boxes can take a lot of your time and you're also likely to make a, a lot of mistakes along the way. Now the 9 panel function helps to solve this problem. You have the option of selecting predicted codes to identify your points. So to create the 9 panels, go to your project tab and click on more. You then click on the code list option. An easy way to go around this would be to click and edit or modify the current task code list, the first code list on this page. So you click on it and then modify it. In the next page, add a preferred code for your point in the description box. That way, the code written in the description box will be displayed on your topo survey screen for easy, for easy use whenever you intend to pick the position of a point that corresponds to the code name. That way, the code written in the box will be displayed on your topo survey screen for easy use whenever you intend to take fix of a position on site. I'll create another one called road and I'll also create another one called manholes. Note the codes are written in the description box and then the descriptive name of those codes are written in the code box. The reason for this is because the names that show on your topo survey screen are the names that are written in the description box as opposed to those written in the code box. And so in order to accommodate more codes on your screen, on your topo survey screen, it is advisable to put your code names in the description box so that they are what you get to see on your topo survey screen. I'll then go to my topo survey page and then click on the plus sign. The plus sign is located just on top of the name box. A page will then display showing the add button. Note, sometimes you may not have the plus button showing from the start. In that case, all you have to do is go to the settings and ensure that the code measure is turned on. Now back to the plus sign, to add a code, click on add, and then scrolling only the items on the far right, you click on OK when the item of choice on the far right aligns with the other items on the list. 
I'll do so repeatedly until I have added my three points. Now with all my points added, all I just have to do is put a numerical identifier on the name box and click on my pre-edited code of choice. As you can see, my point is taken and the numbers on the name box, the numerical identifiers will move up sequentially. I'll do the same for road. I'll take another point as road. I'll take one point as the manhole. Notice how all points are being taken sequentially. Now that's how to take multiple points on the field using the nine panels function in your ComNav GNSS receiver.